And our top story tonight at 11, the story of a man who received a message that he was accepted to a local college, but then was denied because the school didn't properly review his probation paperwork. Good evening and welcome to Channel 2 News tonight. I'm Scott Levin. Mary Alice is off tonight. Twin your side's Keelan Berry and joins us in studio after being able to talk with the applicant and the school on this mishap. What really happened here, Keelan? Well, Scott, the 22 year old's name is Jamel Prickin, and he just wanted to right his wrongs after a mistake landed him in jail last November, but his path has blocked him over a technical error. I was heartbroken. Like I said, I wanted to do everything good. I didn't want to do no more bad or I just wanted to push forward. So I put my all and say, Hilbert, I'm like, okay, this is where I'm going to succeed. This is where I'm going to push forward for the next four years. You can turn over a new leaf every hour if you choose. Arnold Bennett is exactly what Jamil Pridget is trying to do. I was going to succeed in cybersecurity and I was going to play on the football team. And it was a lot of things I was going to do. <laughs> the 22 year old made a mistake last year in November, which got him stuck with an attempted possession of a firearm charge. He was incarcerated for nearly two months. In March, he was placed on probation, and by May, Jamel decided to make a change by going to school. He got an acceptance through text message, but then... We were just pushing forward to do everything we, we needed to do. Mm -hmm. But after the denial, and we started reaching out more and wonder what we did wrong or what we could have did better, they stopped replying. He was denied. They asked for his conviction information, which he gave says, twice. They can request additional information before they make a final decision, but they just made a final decision. Right. Jamel and his caseworker reached out for a conversation. His probation officer even did the same. So two on your side reached out for the mishap. And in a statement, Humber College admits they messed up, saying in part, a technical error led to an automatic text message about the admission before our committee had completed its review. We have adjusted our admission system to prevent this from happening in the future. Person who told Jamel he had been admitted, they couldn't, that person wasn't allowed to see it. it Christy Cleaver is Jamel's caseworker from Priest Prince. By the same token for somebody to be able to tell the man that he's been admitted, for then somebody else to pull the rug out from under him is not fair. It sounds like to me Jamel has the grace for them to accept it. It's just that until they found out about this, which you guys didn't hide from him. because Nope, from the beginning, yep. Yeah. They have a very high acceptance rate at Hilbert. He's already had his challenges, right? But he's paid the price for, for his, the choices that he's made, right? And so it's not fair for him to continue to be punished. It's exhausting, but I'm not going to give up and keep pushing. Now, Scott Jamil says he had the gun to protect himself after seeing the top shooting and walking through rough neighborhoods late at night from work. But he did say the challenge would not stop him from going to college and turning his life around. He says he would even move to move out of Buffalo if he has to. On your side in the studio, Keelan Berry and Channel 2 News.